here lately, I've been doing a lot of laser cutting with um, with my new longer Ray 5 laser cutter. Um, I've been learning the ins and outs, all that good stuff. And today, I'm going to share with you the three biggest improvements as far as upgrades for the longer Ray 5 that I could find. All right, first things first, we're going to show you this enclosure. This is the Creality um, enclosure. It has a it has a zippered up top where you can just unzip the whole thing and get media in and out. Um, it also has, if you can see it back here, it has a uh, an exhaust fan, and that that thing goes all the way out and it goes out the window to a, and that way it, it, it vents all the smoke and all the all the bad fumes right out of the thing altogether. Um, overall, that thing is an insane improvement in just usability on day to day. Um, next up, we have this uh, this honeycomb. Uh, this one come from X Neon Labs, and this one is a 400 by 400 uh, millimeter, and it, it does everything I could ask for. You can see the honeycomb pattern there, and what that does that allows smoke and um, the extra pieces to just fall on through. That way, they don't get stuck behind there. Uh, and also, there's a metal piece behind it, and it keeps my uh, my work surface from catching on fire. So it is a huge, huge thing for, and it's like a thirty-five dollar upgrade. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, and last but not least, we have the Air Assist. I'll show you how this guy works. This thing is incredibly quiet. Like, that's the ambient and temperature it runs at. The air is actually more noisy than the machine. Granted, it's got a fair amount of vibration. You can see it right there. But overall, it is a. It just has a little dial right here. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can find that guy. Um, but overall, I mean, these are they, they make a huge difference. We're going to show you exactly how how much of a difference the air assist makes real quick. We're going to run a cut. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can hear me, but we have two squares here, and we're going to run those at my usual settings. Um, let's restart it. All right, we're going to go ahead and start light burn, and that way uh, our machine will start we'll come on and home up. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do two little squares here, about like 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter squares. Uh, yeah, that's good. Right there. Copy, paste. We're going to move it on down. We're going to put both of them right there. And we're going to run this file twice, and we're going to do it with and without air assist so you can see the difference. Um, yeah, 550 at 100. Oh, it's how many passes? Two passes at 550 at 100. That should cut all the way through. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and line it up and do it. And what we're going to use, um, we are going to use some leftover uh, base wood. Alright, so again, we're using light burn. And this is going to be the pass without air assist. Alright, that's more like it. Okay, that's got it. Now we're going to go ahead and make this cut. Um, and let's see. We'll go ahead and start it, and we're going to run this without air assist altogether. And we're going to keep this up so you can uh, so you can see what's going on. There we go. Now it's going to get a little bit of smoke, but that's okay. Okay. Now we're going to try the exact same thing, uh, but this time we're going to do with air assist. I don't see if that actually did it. Yeah, I think we're good on that. We're going to turn air assist on.
all the way up and we're going to make that exact same cut. And you'll see just how much cleaner this is than the other one. And this is Air Assist on Max. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn air assist back off. We're going to go ahead and see if we can move it. Um, there we go. And you can see just how big of a difference there is there. Like if you look at just the uh, the smoke and how just how clean of a cut it is. It's insane. It's an insane difference. So we'll go ahead and pick it up and I'll show you the difference between the two. There we go. So you can see just how much cleaner that cuts. Look at the difference up close. Very little smoke and quite a bit of smoke. And look, that didn't even really go all the way through. It needs a little assistance to go through. So see it shift even, and that's without air assist. You can tell a pretty big difference between the two. Now the pieces themselves, this one doesn't have air. This one does not have air assist. You can see it's charred on the edge a little bit, but the one with air assist looks much cleaner. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need air assist. So, all right, guys, um, hoping you had some value out of this video as far as my, seeing my laser cut set up. Um, overall, man, I'm telling you, those three things make a huge difference in your laser cutting, especially air assist. Air assist is it. And then for, for livability, for, for not having smoke smoking up my shop, that little $50 uh, enclosure makes a, makes a lot of sense. And then I feel like you almost have to have the honeycomb thing to avoid burning your work surface or whatever's underneath your laser cutter. Unless you just happen to have a metal table that you're working on, I guess that makes a difference. But it does allow the airflow underneath as well. Um, so anyway, if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. Um, I know I usually do sublimation content. I'm just I'm new to this laser cutting stuff. Uh, but overall, I feel like you know I feel like we're off to a good start. We're learning. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, if if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. Guys, peace. I'll see you later.